You want to be this guy. You want to be the guy that claps cheeks first. You want to be the guy she does not make weight because she wants to smash you as soon as possible. You need to do this. What's good with y'all, man? Listen up, bro. Here's the cold truth, all right? There's something that all these different guys who get the buns first, who clap the cheeks as fast as possible, there's something they all have in common. Check this out. There are guys who have no money and they clapping the rich dude's wife, right? The rich dude's girlfriend. There are guys out here who don't have to pay a dime to clap cheeks. Stay with me here. We also have the guys who put in work who are clapping the buns first. Your likelihood of clapping cheeks as fast as possible only goes up when you put in the effort to maximize who you are. Okay, Max is maxing out that coochie. You feel me? Tyrone, Chad, Brad, Marcus, they are clapping buns as soon as possible. ASAP, bro. ASAP. And it's not because he did this and he did that. It's mostly because the woman's reaction as to what he brought, what he's bringing is a type of energy that says, this is what I got. Okay. I got Johnson right here. I'm ready to sling it on your forehead. She's like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I've been waiting to find a man that's out here just looking to sling Johnson. And that's what I wanted. Now guys, listen, this is what you need to do. You need to understand, number one, that women, they need love, too. Don't you hear that shit? Fat girls need love, too. Now, we ain't fucking no fat hoes, right? But I'm going to tell you something, bro. All women need love. All these females out here got somebody drilling them. Somebody is doing the drilling. Here's the thing, right? Somebody is clapping cheeks. Like, you have a choice to either be the guy that's clapping buns or you want to be the guy that's waiting to clap buns. But somewhere down the line, it's always somebody to clap. And some guys out here are skeptical because how often do you hear this? You start talking to a chick and you start to get to know her, right? Here's a question that's always brought up or at the very least, you need to bring up every single time. Because women always ask you, oh, so you talking to anybody? Are you seeing somebody? Are you, are you serious with somebody? To flip it back on them. This is how you determine if there is one of these guys slinging Johnson on their forehead, you want to be one of these guys. You want to be the guy that's clapping cheeks and not having to prove himself and wait. You skip all that bullshit when you reflect it back on that. Okay, so when's the last time you got involved with a dude then? Because it's always somebody in the background slinging pipe. It has to be. Women need it just like we do, bro. Especially these masculine ass women today. They be so damn horny. They be looking for a guy to just literally deliver dick. They literally be waiting. Set they watch to a guy that's ready to deliver dick. Like expedited shipping in hand. They don't need an Amazon Prime membership either. Delivery dick man. Dick them down Dan type shit. That's what you need to be on. You need to be slinging Johnson out here. That kind of energy is going to be what's attracting women to you sexually. And that's what it's mostly about, fellas. Because I'm going to tell you something. At that point, you can choose what you want to do, bro. At that point, you can choose, okay, nah, actually, I'm really looking for something serious. Some guys out here is like, oh, I don't want to be seen as that. I don't want to be, I don't want to find a genuine connection. Okay, I see you in your soft girl era. All right, well, if you decide to take it slow, then you decide to take it slow. Just because a chick pull up on you, like, picture this, guys. A chick pulling up on you, and she over here like, listen, what I came here to do is get that Johnson, okay? We might cuddle up a little after. No pillow talking, no extra emotional attachment. I'm going to buy you an Uber. Send your ass home right after. Now, listen, that might just be me. I don't know if some guys in the conversation agree, but that sounds like the shit to me. That sounds like a good life to have as a man. A chick saying, oh, I pulled up on you for that Johnson. And then you over here got all the power in your hand for real, for real. And you like, eh, nah, you got to get to know me first. Bitch, you got to take me out to dinner first. Now, wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't that be crazy? I'm not saying that's what you got to do. But I'm saying that's typically how it's going to seem, guys. It's going to seem like that. And the way you do this, guys, is you always lead with your intentions. And it's not that you are blatantly saying, like, if you pull up on a chick, hey, listen, 
All I'm trying to do is smash. Don't talk to me, bitch, unless you throwing that thing in a circle and you reverse jamming that bitch and then you doing backflips on the dick. Listen, bro, you don't be that direct. Your energy is direct. Your energy is supremely direct. They know exactly what it is. The only time guys screw up is they think that because a woman's not just instantly responding to it, that they doing something wrong. And you're not doing anything wrong. All the women do is scope you out, guys. They're always constantly watching you. They're watching you to see how you move. When you pull up to a room, when you pull up at a spot, they're already observing the guys with room presence and what their demeanor is. Your demeanor has always got to be, I'm focused on one thing. That's my only goal. If your goal is to clap cheeks, that's just the energy you leading with. That doesn't have to be a thirsty energy, though. Guys get it twisted. See, there's a way to go about this, that the guys who clap the first night, the guys who are getting strictly exchange of sex for sex with women, what they're doing is, this is what I'm about. If you're not with that, that's totally fine. I'm cool with it. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, right? When you are in conversation with a girl, Already within the first 0.5 seconds, she's already determining if you can be put in that category for her. She's already figured it out, bro. So I find it funny how guys are sitting here and want to pussyfoot around a situation with a chick when everybody knows the two parties involved, you and the coochie over there that you want to smash. Y'all already have this understanding deep down. Your energy is the understanding. See, because women don't play games with what they desire. They go after it. They're selfish like that. They're they're able to just turn that shit on and then that's what they want. They going after it. Bro, literally had a girl, was chilling with a guy, okay? And this is the guy who literally is a textbook example of a guy trying to be a girl's friend and he's super attracted to her and he's doing whatever it takes to stay by her side until he can clap buns. He's going to get intercourse at that time. You know what I mean? Me pulling up, this girl stopped me. This girl grabbed me. She told me that this is not my man. I need your number. I want you. Bet. She don't want to waste time. She don't want to waste time. I go through with that. Guess what I get? The guys that present bad boy energy. The guys that are the assholes. Right? Quote unquote assholes. The guys who just literally come out into the world and attack and get what they want. The guys looking to search and destroy guts on some Call of Duty night vision type shit. These guys, they're getting told, hey, I only want that Johnson. What do you think about that? Women are coming up to them with this proposition. And it's not like it's unnatural. It is natural. Women got you psyched in the brain thinking that it's not cool for you to want sex, bruh. Like they don't enjoy it. Like they don't enjoy it. See, you got to rewire your brain. You got to rewire your brain. The guys who are out here thinking about numero uno. Okay. And put this in the comment section right now. I am number one in my life. I am number one in my life. You got to be that. Because you'll automatically come out with a charismatic vibe of listen, I'm going to put this out here. I'm going to put this energy out here. Whoever's receiving it is going to receive it. At that point, I'm going to use my discernment, pick and choose who I desire to give this Johnson to. And then that's it. That's it. I got to buy you a drink. No, ain't no buy you a drink, bitch. I'm not T-Pain over here. You don't got to sit here and show out for them and do this and do it and show that you are. Bro, be you out here. Really go out here and be the you that's putting you first. Be the you who only gives a damn about what you actually want and getting what you desire. That's it. That's it. The guys out here to smash an ASAP. The guys out here to smash it on the first date. One night stand type shit. First thing that they understand is that women want it just like we do. They want it just like we do. But how do you choose to designate your energy to them? How do you place yourself? Because, guys, when you are out here approaching women, when you're talking to them, when you're conversating with them, choose a signal or not, you are categorizing yourself in their eyes. It's all in how your energy perceives you. 
If you come up with the energy, oh yeah, I don't really give a fuck about this click shit over here, this clicky shit over here. I'm me out here. I don't give a damn about nobody. Oh, she choosing me over here. You doing your walk around or something. They are watching you. They watching you. They checking to see how you move. They checking to see how you carry yourself. Your chest up, your chest out. Oh, this guy looks like an asshole. Oh, this guy looks like a bad boy. Oh, he got to be slinging Johnson because ain't no way he got all that confidence on him. Like He got to be slinging Johnson. I think I want some of that. That's who is getting the buns. That's the guy that's out here slinging pipe and all these bitches out here fighting for territory, bro. They fighting over you like after the reception and the bride throws the bouquet of flowers. So who's going to catch it? They fighting like that. To catch up, Johns. That's how it is. It's the energy you exude, bro. It's all in your energy, bro. If you are vibrating at a high frequency and your energy is solid because you know who you are and you move in life after the best interest of yourself, truly, truly positive, that's it. That's the key. That's the key in life, bro. And like I said, bro, you choose what you want to do. If you want to be Poindexter out here and you want to take your time or, oh, no, I don't want to. Let me try that pussy real quick. Oh, so, ooh, let me wait a little bit, baby. I don't even know if I want to get in them guests just yet. That's up to you then, bro. Right. I say, hey, it might be better for you to actually get to know this chick and uncover some more things because honestly, if you become high value, if you are high value, you have things at risk yourself and what are we doing fellas we're putting ourselves first that some people call it selfish some people say you're an asshole some people say you're rude some people say oh that's a bad boy well that's the kind of energy that's smashing cheeks first that's clapping buns first so be that kind of guy and the women are going to be left with one or two options either they can accept the fact that oh I'm attracted to this man and I want his Johnson. They can't get past that. They can't get past that. So that's the only way they can get the interaction with you. See, because the energy you're exuding and pulling up to them with is attractive. So they want it. Well, the only way they're going to get it is if they either babysit your kids, right? Hold your Johnson against his will with their throats and strangle that shit. Or they can just not be with it at all. And then what? deuces right poof vamos goodbye see you see you later toodaloo type shit that's it that's it so in either case it's favorable for you you're not wasting any of your time your time is valuable they know your time is valuable bro make sure your energy is showing that she's gonna believe that she's gonna have respect for your time and not want to wait and get you inside of her guts as fast as possible because she sees you the way you see yourself. That's what it is, bro.